In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how I created this Celtics lampshade. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Unique World. And if you are new, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So here's the lamp that I'll be working with. Um, I actually got this from Bed Bath and & Beyond. And it was um, discounted because um, the store in my area is actually closing. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the lamp really, really good. Because you're going to be spray painting the base of the lamp. And I'm going to use this um, painter's tape. And I am just going to make sure that I cover every area that I do not want to be painted. Also, if you guys have not seen the Spider-Man lamp transformation that I've done a tutorial on, I will leave a video recommendation above in the suggestion box above. And I will also insert a picture as well to show you what I've done in the past. So you guys, if you are interested in that tutorial, please make sure that you check out that video after this video ends. So this is what it looks like after I put painter's tape in the areas that I do not want to be painted. Now you're just going to grab your spray paint and you're just going to spray paint your um, base of your lamp outside. Or you can spray paint in a ventilated area. I would recommend doing two coats of spray paint. And then once that's dry, you're gonna grab your clear gloss. And then you're gonna go ahead and remove your painter's tape. And this is what your lamp should look like after it's dry. And now it's time to add your decals. I am using white permanent vinyl and all the products and items that I use to do this lamp I will leave in the description down below so you guys can check that out in case you want to buy them um, and normally I get my items from Amazon so it's easier to you know find the item and just order it from there Now it's time to add my podge to your image, whatever image you're going to put on your um, lampshade. Um, my last video of my Spider-Man lampshade or lamp transformation, I use a comic book. So this time I decided to use printer paper or copy paper to see if that would actually work as well um i thought it would maybe be too thin but actually it all worked out very well but i do want to let you guys know that if you're doing a whole sheet of um any type of paper um computer paper um just know that there will be bubbles inside of your uh, paper so you have to definitely make sure that you smooth 
your paper out across the lampshade because it will leave some type of bubble. So you definitely have to be patient when you're placing a whole sheet of computer paper on top of the lampshade. As you can see, I am trying to make the computer paper smooth on the um, lampshade. Now I'm just going to add my podge on the outside of the computer paper. Once it's dry, I'm just going to cut and trim the edges of the computer paper around the lampshade to give that clean finished look. So after you have finished trimming the computer paper around the lampshade, you can place the lampshade back on top of the base of the lamp and you are completely done. So if you like what you see, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss another DIY video from me, Unique World. Until next time, peace.